Helen here again, your wellbeing advisor. So I've spoken a bit now about how we create our identity and our conditioning. And the one concept that I find really fascinating is how our mind creates certain pathways. So our mind has this ability to basically create paths of thought. So I like to picture it as if you're in a forest and when you were first born, in this forest there is fresh grass everywhere there's no paths it's like untrodden and then as we start to explore life and go off say for example to the right a few times we start to wear a pathway in the grass until eventually there isn't grass and it becomes mud and that becomes a natural path so we actually create these we create them in each direction depending on the different situations in our life and this is the same in our brain. This is basically what happens. Um, we form pathways that are thought patterns. So the same thoughts that we keep thinking wear down and create like a path in our brain. And then what happens is that this is coated with something called a myelin sheath um, to keep it intact. So making it actually harder for us to change that pathway. Now, when I first learned this, I was just like amazed at that. And it seemed like really self-defeating. I was like, why does it do that? But then I kind of realized that our brains are designed to be able to learn something. And then once we've learned it, we can follow this again and again and again. And this has helped our survival over years. It's how we've learned to drive um, and then become so adept, adept at driving that we can literally usually drive from one familiar place to another without really thinking about it. We often get there and think, oh, how did I get here? But um, basically, it's only self-defeating because of what we put into it. So what pathways we create have been our choice all along. And when I say our choice, of course, other people have contributed to those, our caregivers, authorities, society, but still, the way we've chosen to respond, to take that in, that is what's created our pathways. So I really hope that does help people to understand how our mind works a bit more and to understand that we are, you know, created as creatures of habit and just to see that as normal. You know, it takes us 21 days to change a habit or to create a new pathway in your mind. We can't just do it overnight. So however hard it gets, you know, when you're trying to achieve your goals, we're trying to think something different, learn something different, just keep going because it will work. You know, keep creating the pathways in your mind because if you were to go into a forest and walk down a fresh bit of grass again and again and again, you would create a path that's inevitable. It's never not going to happen. So you can do the same in your mind. It just takes the knowledge and the determination to do it. So while you're there, trying to achieve your goals, setting what you want to happen for the future, just know that you can help that process by creating those positive pathways in your mind.